Hey guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. In this video, I want to show you how I migrate a HA pair of PanOS firewalls into Panorama. So in my last video, I showed you how to use the Palo Alto Network's best practices assessment tool to check the security posture of a Panorama deployment. You can check out all these topics on my website at mbtechtalker.com. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. When I deploy Panorama into the network, I always aim to have the least amount of local configuration on the firewalls as possible, and allow Panorama to manage 99% of the configuration. However, in my lab, the firewalls do have some security policies and IP set configurations already in place, which I will need to import into Panorama. So up to this point, I have two virtual Panoramas deployed in an active-passive pair. I also have one pair of VM series files also running in active-passive HA mode that is ready to be imported into Panorama. So let me show you how I do this. Okay, so let's kick the lab off. So I'm already logged into Panorama and both of the customer firewalls. And what I need to do is retrieve the serial numbers from the dashboard of each of the files that are going to be managed. Um, I've already got them copy and pasted into, into Notepad. And then I'm going to go back to Panorama, onto the Panorama tab, and then underneath Manage Device Summary, we're going to click on that, and then we're going to click Add. Then we're going to paste both the serial numbers into the box. Uh, both of these firewalls are in HA, so these are going to be um, associated together and then I'm going to generate the auth key and then I'm going to copy that and I'm going to pop that into a into notepad as well and then I'm going to click OK on that and then click OK and we're going to commit that to Panorama and then while that's committing that change we're going to go over to each of the files go to the device tab and then we're going to go to the setup section and then we're looking at the panorama settings then we need to specify the panorama IP addresses so the primary active is 10.10.3.21 and the passive is 10.10.3.22 and then you need to paste the auth key into this box and then click OK. Now once we commit this to the active firewall, this will sync across to the passive, so you don't need to do this twice. So now that's completed, we can close this and we can go back to Panorama. And we're going to confirm that both of the firewalls are now connected. We just refresh it okay so both the files are now connected so that's done we can now move on to the next step so the next thing I like to do is to disable config sync on each firewall to ensure that the high availability template configuration on the active firewall does not overwrite the passive firewall HA configuration as the high availability settings are unique. So what we do is we go to the active firewall first and then go to high availability. So device tab, high availability. And then we're going to go into the HA pair settings and then we're going to untick enable config sync and then click OK. And then we're going to commit that change. And then we can go over to the passive firewall and do exactly the same thing so device tab high availability and then we're going to go into the HA pair settings setup click on the cog and then untick the enable config sync and click OK and then commit that change as well So 
So the next thing I need to do is import both of the local firewall configurations into Panorama. So we go back to Panorama and then we're going to go to the setup section and then under operations, we're going to go to import device configuration into Panorama. Then I'm going to select each of the firewalls. So firewall one to start with. Now I'm going to leave this import devices, shared objects into Panorama shared context. I'm going to leave that ticked. However, if I had a file with lots of objects, I would untick this to avoid any kind of duplication of objects. And I could always move the objects into the shared device group uh, at a later date. And then I'm just going to leave the um, rule import location as um, pre-rule base. Um, and then I'm going to click OK. So that's firewall one done. Now let's do the same process for firewall two. And then just click OK. So we can close that. So now that both firewalls have been imported into Panorama, Panorama is now aware of the local configuration on the firewall. You'll notice now we have more tabs at the top. This is because the firewalls have been imported in. So Panorama is now aware that it has firewalls that it's going to manage. So we've got under device groups, which is essentially security policy and objects. And then templates will look after the network settings and device settings. So what I'm going to do is clean up the templates because both firewalls will be a member of one template stack. So if we go over to templates down here on the, on the left, um, and what we're going to do is rename this stack so that it encompasses both firewalls. So instead of it just being cust one hyphen firewall zero one, it's also going to include zero two. and then click OK. And then what I'm going to do is delete this customer one firewall zero two stack because we don't need that any longer. And now I can go back into this rename stack and then check or tick the second firewall and then click OK. So now you can see both devices are a mem member of the one template stack. So in my lab, I've configured HA on the local firewalls themselves. I have no requirement for Panorama to manage these settings. So I'm going to remove the HA config from each firewalls template within Panorama by clicking on the device tab and going into each of the firewalls. So if I go to the firewall one template, and then down here, I'm gonna do remove all. And I'm gonna do the same for the firewall, for, for the second firewall, remove all. So just a quick note that a template configuration will not override the local firewall configuration unless you force template values in the push scope selection. So let's say I was going to push this to Panorama now. If I did push your devices and clicked edit selections and went into templates, by clicking this force template values, this will override any local configuration on the firewall. So at this point, I can now push my changes to Panorama. Now we can click close on this. Okay, so the next job is to export the device config bundle to both of the firewalls. So this essentially replaced the firewall's local configuration with Panorama's managed configuration. 
The only local configuration in place will be the unique management settings like hostname and IP address, etc. And also the high availability settings. So we go to the Panorama tab and then back to Setup. And then under Operations, we're going to ex Export or Push Device Config Bundle. And then we're going to choose Firewall 1 to start with and then click OK. And then we're going to push and commit. Now we can do the second file. So export or push device config bundle and we're going to select the second firewall. Click OK and push and commit. OK, now we can do a push to devices. And as you can see, both device groups and templates for both the firewalls are now ready to be committed. So let's push that. Now we can close this window and move on to the final steps. So now we can do a little bit of housekeeping on the device group configuration. So still in the panorama tab and underneath device groups on the left, what I'm going to do is go into the firewalls two device group and I'm going to untick it because I no, no longer want this firewall to be a member of this device group and then click OK. I'm then going to delete it. And then I'm going to rename this one to include FW02. And then I'm going to put a DG, short for device group, on the end. And then I'm going to select Firewall 2 to be included in the device group and then click OK. So all policies now in this device group. I go to in this device group that I just renamed will be pushed to both the firewalls so they they are now part of the same device group so then a final commit to panorama so if I do a commit and push Okay, so they, that completed successfully. We can close that window. And let's go and do a bit of a, a check underneath the Panorama tab. And we're going to go back to the Manage Device Summary. And as you can see, the templates are in sync. This is going to update in a minute. So we can go over and check on the firewalls. Let's see if any tasks are still running. Yeah, so it's not completed yet. So even though Panorama said it was completed, it hasn't completed yet. So we've got to give that a minute or so, and then uh, we can we can check and hopefully the shared policy um, will be in sync as well. So we should have green icons, the same as the template. Okay, so they both finally completed now. So we can close those windows and let's go back to Panorama and refresh the page. And there we go. So the shared policy and the template is all now in sync. So we're looking good. And all we have to do now is one final important step is to re-enable the config sync locally on both the active and passive firewalls. So on the device tab, high availability, click on the cog, enable config sync, click OK, commit, and the same on the second firewall. So high availability, and then enable config sync, click OK. And then we commit that. So while that's doing that, we can just quickly review this. So if we take a look at, go back to Panorama, I'm going to go to the device groups. So 
under policies. We're going to look at device group customer one, fiber one and two device group. We go to the pre rules because that's where we imported the local configuration into Panorama and then it was pushed back down to the firewalls. If we went on to the firewalls and looked under policies, we should see those two um, security policies that were configured in Panorama. Um, and you can see that they're yellow and that means that Panorama owns this policy. This was pushed from Panorama. This is no longer a local configuration. So both these firewalls are now under full management of Panorama and everything going forward um, can be done centrally. So that's it guys. I'm sure you know what to do, but if you don't, please hit that subscribe, smash that like button and click the bell notification. Don't forget you can see all of these topics on my website at www.mbtechtalker.com. Well, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.